and welcome back to another episode. So today we're going to talk about Demon Hunters and the Spec Vengeance. I think I say it's right, Vengeance. And we're going to look on the spells changes and the talent changes. Um, keep in mind that I normally don't main Vengeance, so if I have made any mistakes or said anything wrong, uh, please well, clear me in the comments. And tell me if I did anything wrong. Uh, but else, I hope you enjoy this tutorial of Battle for Azeroth, how Vengeance tanks is going to be. And let's start as usually at the spells. So we have almost three pages. Well, it almost fills out two pages. So first we have Consume Magic, who is this spell that we interrupt healers or spellcasters with. Demon Spike, search with fell power, increasing your armor by 235. Of your guilty and your parish chance by 15 for six seconds i'm pretty sure that it didn't do that in um it didn't have that effect in legion it was something just with your armor or something i'm pretty sure it didn't do that well please tell me if it didn't um <coughs> then we have this is the talent, so ignore that one for now. We go through talents after. Then we have Fury Brain, where we put down a... Oh, that's the spell where we burn the target. So we burn the target here. So you can see here. Brand an enemy demon, demonic symbol, instantly dealing 2000 damage. And reducing the damage they deal to you by 40. Okay. Then we have Glide, is yeah, kind of flying. Immolation Aura. Engulf yourself in flames, instantly causing 392 fire damage to enemies within 8 yards and dealing 146 over 6 seconds. And it also generates pain. Imprison, if we want to sap a target. Infernal Strike, our kind of charging ability. And deals damage. Metamorphosis, our cooldown where we become a very big beast um, and we get 30% more health and 100% more armor then we have shear our main spell that we're going to spam on the target and every time we use it we have a chance to get like a soul out of the enemy um, and our here we can see what these are doing killing a target sometimes shatter their souls leaving a soul fragment behind the soul fragment will be con will be consumed when you approach it, healing you for 5,000. Consuming a lesser soul fragment heals you for 8% of your damage taken in last 5 seconds. Minimum 1% health minimum. Minimum 1% of maximum health. Consuming a demon soul will grant you 20% increased damage. So that's what they are actually just doing. So when I go into them, they will heal me. Then we have Sigil of Flame that kind of set down fire so it make, makes a mark. And Sigil Mystery that will, well, fear the enemy. So now he's kind of feared, disoriented for 20 seconds. And this one here deals damage and burn them over time. Sigil of Silence if you want to silence your target. Then we have Soul Cleave. That is our spell. So every time we use, so when I use shear and create those souls and use soul cleave it kind of absorb them into us so we don't have to run around and pick up the orbs so our soul cleave will automatically pick them up for us spectral side if you want to see stealth for us throw glaives uh, torment is our town passive every time we deal damage to a target well all all in your raid will deal five percent more magic damage against this target your tattoos reduce all damage taken by 10 and increase your stamina by 65 and your army armor by 75. So the reason for this tank gets this is because we use lever as armor and we have no shields. So they need to, you know, do that we still have enough health like warrior tanks and armor. Uh, because they use plate and shields. Double jump, your mastery increase your armor bonus of demon spikes by additional 95 of your agility and increase your, increase your attack power 
and the shadow so we just read okay so in this particular thing I doesn't really feel any big difference uh, we still just use the same abilities and have demon spikes we have to hold up then let's see the talents um, Abyssal Strike, Infernal Strike's range is increased by 10 yards and its cooldown is reduced by 8 seconds. Immolation Aura increases your movement speed by 30 and deals 20% increased damage. Razor Spikes, while damage, Demon Spikes is active, you deal 15% increased physical damage and your melee attacks snares target by 20. Very cool. Soul Cleave heals you for additional 800 over 6 seconds. So now so cleave also heals me heals me heals me every time. That's pretty cool. Emulation aura in initial burst has a chance to shatter laser souls fragment from enemies. Yeah, that's pretty cool because if you use an emulation aura, let's say with twenty mobs, that's a lot of self healing. Every twenty uh every third every second second, your fury brain deals seventy nine fire damage and spreads to one of your nobi enemies. Oh, that's pretty cool, so when you use Fury Brand um, there, and then it also spreads to targets like it's burning everyone. Uh, Inferno Strike creates a sigil of flame when you land, so when I use this one here, creates like a little brand. Fury Brand increases the fire damage your abilities deal to the target by 20. Fell Blade, so it gives you additional charge. Increase Leech, and I mean, this is pretty cool for a tank that you get Leech. Uh, additional 25 in Metamorphosis. Consuming a Soul Fragment reduces the Marine cooldown of Demon Spikes. Rapidly slash your target for 1200 damage. Physical damage and shatter the lizard and shatter two lizard soul fragments from them. And has two charges. Pretty cool spell. All sigils are now targeted at your location, so instead, uh, and the duration of the effects is increased by two. So normally, when you use a sigil, it's you can choose where you want it, but because of this talent, it just use it where I'm standing now. I don't know. I kind of like that. Um, place a sigil of, of chains at the target location that activates after 2 seconds. Pull enemies affected by sigil are pulled to this in are pulled to its center and snared reducing. Okay, so everyone who's inside it will be pulled. All sigils activate 1 second faster and their cooldown are reduced by 20. Probably take that one instead of this one here. Consuming Soul Fragment has a chance to activate Met Metamorphosis for two five seconds. That's pretty awesome. I mean, then every time I s consume a fragment, I can be a demon. Hell yeah. Our fell devastation in unleash the fell within you, damaging enemies. In so you kind of do like Diablo. You make a very big breath and fire or all, all over. It deals damage over 2 seconds and causing damage also to heals you for 8000, so it's pretty big self heal. Spirit Bombs consume up to 3 soul fragment within 20, 20 yards, 25 yards and explodes affecting enemy enemies with frailty for 20 seconds and damaging them for 350 fire per fragment. You heal for 10% of all damage you deal to enemies with frailty. Okay, so you kind of make leech on them. Sustained fatal damage instead transforms you to metamorphous form and returns you to 30% health. So that's like Death Knight had with the shield or cheap death, death that rogue has. It, instead of dying, you get a chance again. I would probably call it second chance. Enemies struck by soul cleave deal 8% less damage to you. Shield yourself or 9,000 damage for 12 seconds, consuming all soul fragment within 25 yards adds 1,900 to shield. Pretty cool. So now every time I consume a soul fragment I have a chance to become a demon. There we go. That's a pretty neat thing. 
So guys, that was all the talents and all the spells for... yeah. What's it called? Vingians. Vingians Demon Hunters. So I hope you enjoyed the video and know if you want, you, you're going to play this class in Battle for Azeroth. So if you have any comments about the class I missed or you just have a comment, please leave down a comment. And thanks for watching guys and have a great, great day.